Welcome. This is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. I had a couple of precious viewers mention in the comments after I posted that video about the demonic attacks that they speak in tongues and it helps them over demonic oppression. And one of them was Ursula Durant and the other one was booming bubble bus and I thank you for your comments and I had thought about that before but I failed to even bring it up or mention it but you know what the precious Holy Ghost has been with me all of my life and I was actually filled with the baptism of the Holy Spirit when I was about 12 years old with the evidence of speaking in tongues and if you don't have this gift you're missing out on a wonderful gift because the Bible tells you that God will give this gift to anyone freely who asks for it and he said it's a gift so if you want it just ask him for it and he will fill you with the holy spirit with the evidence of speaking in unknown tongues and you can go to the bible and read about the day of pentecost when people were baptized with the holy spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues acts chapter 2 and some people have said, well, that's not for today. But I believe it is for today. I've had it <laughs> since I was 12 years old. And, and I've known a lot of other people that have it. But i tell you what happened to me one time. Now, the Holy Spirit, you know, it will communicate with the Heavenly Father. And... It will speak to him and intercede for whatever you need. And I'll tell you one time, oh, it's probably in the 90s or so. And I was going down the highway, going to the old home place. My sister Linda had bought that place. And I was almost there and I was going to turn to the right to go up to the road that led to her place. And all of a sudden, the Holy Ghost just came all over me real strong. And I started speaking in tongues. Oh, I started speaking in tongues. And I said, Lord, what is going on? And so... I went on down the road and I went on up to where I was supposed to turn left to go in to the driveway that led to their garage area and the farrier was waiting on me and I was going to get Linda's young horse shod and I had been working with this horse and I had been training it to ride and I had been lunging her and putting the saddle on her and riding her a little bit and she was still real green but I got her out and uh, the farrier was going to start shoeing her well all of a sudden, she just bucked out the full length of her body. And if you've ever watched Bunking Bronx, I mean to tell you, they are powerful. They can kill you in a second if you were right there, you know. And it just so happened that I was standing quite a ways away. I mean, I felt pretty safe where I was standing but I never expected her to buck out like she did 
But when she did, I felt her hoof just barely touch my blouse right there. Just barely touch it. Didn't touch my skin. But if I would have been just a tad closer, she would have hit my heart with that powerful hoof and it probably would have killed me instantly. Probably would have stopped my heart right then. And I knew that's why that Holy Ghost came up on me and I spoke in tongues like that because the Holy Spirit was interceding for my life. And the Holy Ghost has been with me. Now, I've had other times when I spoke in tongues, but I think that was one time I know that God was working to spare my life. Now, one time, it's when I lived in um, Georgia. And I lived near the Alpharetta area, and I was going down the highway pretty near Alpharetta. And I was praying to God, and I was just speaking to Him in tongues. I mean, that's one time that it sticks out in my mind it was so strong and so powerful and I've often wondered what it meant but this is kind of what I think it meant I think that God was interceding for my future now that that's just the feeling I get about it now I speak in tongues just about every day I mean, I don't want a day to go by without doing that because God's Spirit is powerful and He leads us and He guides us. And it's well worth looking into if you have not received that gift. But I know there are many people that probably don't go along with that and they don't believe in it, but post in the comments what you think about it and if you want prayer if you want me to pray for you about it I will but remember God loves you so much and so do I God bless each and every one of you Amen